have decided to make some apple turnovers with these beautiful fresh apples that I got from the uh, apple farm and I have prepared my pastry dough and uh, this is going to go into the refrigerator right now to cool off. Now I am using the recipe from grandmother's awesome apple pie and I will put a link to that recipe because that's exactly what I'm using for this recipe except that I'm going to turn it into turnovers rather than a pie and it uses shredded apples and it is a bit of a time-consuming and laborious um, pie or tart to make pie or tart but um, Mark has always raved about how his grandmother used to make the best pies ever and she used to shred her apple pie and it took me years to find a recipe or even to care to <laughs> and I did find a recipe or two that uh, actually shredded apples and I modified that for my own purposes and uh, I do have uh, a video where I made that pie and today I'm going to make the tarts sorry turnovers not tarts I'm going to make apple turnovers now as I say the pastry is ready it is going in the fridge and I'm going to mix together the ingredients that go in the filling. Okay, the ingredients are one and a quarter cups of sugar a mixture of brown and white so I do half and half brown sugar and white sugar half a cup of butter softened so I've got that into cubes right now softening as we speak right there uh, that's the easiest way for me to soften it and um, Let's see, where are we here? Two tablespoons of flour, two teaspoons of vanilla, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a pinch of salt, and two large eggs. And we mix all of those together and, and get it all nice and thoroughly mixed, thoroughly blended, and then we fold in shredded apple. So I'm going to do this mixture first and put it all in a bowl and then I'm going to shred the apple okay okay I've got my mixture all in a bowl here and now it's just time to blend this all nice and smooth so I have not begun to shred the apples yet I have peeled them I have poured them and they are sitting in lemon water so they don't turn brown But um, and this looks like it could use a bit of work. Could have used a, a blender for this, but I think I'll get a, another spoon. No, I think I'll use this instead. Butter is still a bit on the cold side, so I think I'm just gonna Okay, I'm still gonna allow that to sit while I shred the apples. Okay, and at this point I'm just going to use this little thing here. And as soon as they're shredded, I will probably dump them right into that mixture. Not my favorite job, but it works. Okay, I'll get back to you when I have finished shredding all these apples. Okay, I now have my apples all shredded, so I'm going to give this mixture another spin before I fold in the apples.
Okay, I'm happy with that. Not happy with splashing everything around. And now I will fold the apples into this mixture. like a pretty awesome filling. Now this would be the same mixture for a pie. So now I'm just going to roll out my pastry and then we'll fill it with this filling. Okay, I've searched through my doors and I found the little item that I use to make turnovers. And it's pretty easy actually. You just have to get a piece of dough that is pretty much the same size as that. Put some filling in, close it up, and it seals the dough. I haven't used this in a while, so it could take a little bit of effort for me too. Okay, I'm going to start off with flouring my table. Okay, I have roughly cut four um, pieces of dough, made and I'm putting them on this little mold. Okay, and the idea is to put some of this filling. in the mold and then we just close it up and press hard. And that should seal it. Okay, and there we have a perfect turnover. So I'm going to put that one aside and put another one together. And I'm going to save all the excess dough and see if I can get another one from that. Press hard to seal the edges and as you can see on the one side that's where it's filled here you can pull it off with your fingers and we have another perfect one now okay. I go on to the next one well I tore that which is not a good thing Just want to make sure that you have dough on all the edges. And we're just going to keep making these until we run out of filling or dough, whichever comes first. So pretty. No, that one needs to be 
spread just a bit more. to get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There was a fourteenth, but it fell apart on me and I decided it was way too much effort. I tried to fix it once and didn't succeed, so I just got rid of it. Now this should be very similar to apple pies. The nice thing about it is that I can do one or two, bake each one at a time rather than have a pie that we only eat a piece or two and the rest of it goes to waste. This is actually all, um, it can stay frozen until I'm ready to cook it. So this is definitely a much more um, versatile and better for uh, a two-person family than a whole pie. So this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.